Hi guys, my name's Mitz and this is a video on how to format a boring table that you've got in Excel. So just say you've got your data and you've got your columns and you've got everything there but it's really boring and you want to make it look, you know, nice. Okay, so um, first thing is that we've got a title up the top here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is select this entire top row here until I get to here. Okay, so I'm going to hold my mouse key down and just drag across just simply and you can see that this top row is selected. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is make that into one big row. So what I'm going to do up the top here, I'm going to go to Merge and Center and I'm simply going to press on that. Now what it does is it makes that into one row. Okay, that's the top row that is going to be my title for this sheet. Now if I want to make this text bigger, okay, we just select the text, okay, and we've got all different sizes up here and different fonts. So let's just start with the sizes. If we run through, we actually get a uh, preview of what it looks like. Now as you can see, if I go way too big, the text is up there and you can't see it. So we can expand this um, column. Now all I did was go and click once. Okay, let's undo it first. Undo. Right, so to expand it, I just went and clicked once in the cell next to it. Now I'll show you again. We're going to select the text. Now I'm going to make it too big again. So I just say we go there. Now let's just... Now we, we can't see the text, okay? It's disappeared because it's too big. So what I'm going to do is click next to the cell once and there we go, it's back. Okay, so what we've got there is a nice title. We've got a big, um, we've merged and centered this one entire row together. Okay, so it looks like we can see the table forming by itself here. Now, we can color this top part as well. So there's a few ways to do that. We can just click on the box and we can fill it with a color. So we can just go over the colors and you'll see the previews, okay? So just choose a color, right? There we go. And there is other ways to do that as well because um, there is options up the top if you're on the home tab where you can choose these options up here and it'll automatically fill them as well. But you must have the cell selected, okay? So select the cell and you will get... What these do is actually change the entire formatting to exactly what you see there, okay? So if I don't want to do it, don't even press on any of it and your uh, formatting will stay the same. Okay, so let's say we want to format these ones across here. Okay, so we'll make this a certain color. So we'll just simply, we could simply just go up to the pre-formatting options up there or we can choose our own again. So what we've got to do is choose something that contrasts the top heading. So let's go black but with the text color, this is the text color here, we need to be able to see it. So we'll make that white. See if you mouse over it, you can make it gray. You've got to find something that stands out. You can actually make it the light blue color, green, any of those, anything that stands out. So let's go white. Now as you can see, it's starting to really take shape, this table. Now down the side here, we've got the names of the people. Now you can just do the same thing. Choose to fill it 
with the black and do the white text again okay so we've got this happening here now you can also make them bold if you want to or um, all you have to do is select them again so to select them all like this you go on to the first one then you go and you press your left mouse button and you drag this down and it selects them all okay so we want to make them bold let's press bold we want to underline them let's underline them okay just simple as that you want to make them metallic okay we can do that too all right so now we're starting to see a bit of shape here now the other thing that would be nice is a border around the entire table so what we want to do is select the whole table now this button here this button here selects the whole sheet this little one up the top here but we don't want to do that we want to select the whole table just here so what we're going to do is click on the f first top um, cell here the big one and we're going to drag er everything so we've got the selection okay we're going to drag it down just like we did before and now we're going to put a border around the whole lot and here's your bottom here's your borders here right and we've got all these options now this one here will go and put borders around all the numbers and all the um, days and all the names and everything right this one here will put a border around the outside of the whole table the big thick one so let's just start with that one for now put that on now I can't really see it so I'm gonna to have to click away to see what it looks like and as you can see just if you have a look over on this here I've got accidentally got a border on there so I just go there and do no border for that and take it away all right so the sheet uh, that little um, tables looking quite good now I like to color this total column in um, just a simple color that might stand out so we'll go to the fill section and we might put it in red okay well it's kind of a ready color right so now what happens is we want the totals to be coming up on the end here so basically you can press right in here because you want these things to add up so all we have to do is go up to the top and find the auto sum button now it's just over it's on the home tab but right over to the top press auto sum and press it and if you go back and have a look at your uh, box that we have it's put a um, calculation formula in there for me okay so it's got um, 3b which is this one and ranging to h3 and that's all adding up okay so what we've got to do to make that work is press enter okay so there it is so it added up the hours for me now I just want to copy this formula down to all the rest so I'm not going to copy number 27 I'm copying the formula that adds up the columns across there okay right so we've done that and we've got the totals going on we've got a border on the outside of the um, things here now I think there might be something missing here a bottom border so I might just see if I can put it back in there sometimes things disappear when you're not looking so we'll go bottom and see what happens there we go we got it back in there now the other thing you can do is you can format the individual cells as in selecting them just one cell and choosing an individual color for them if you like so just like that simple as that or you can individually turn it bold or italic 
you can change the color of the writing you can do exactly the same thing we did with all the rest of the stuff you can also um, center or as you can see we can choose the whole column here and we can center it which it is at the moment or we can take it to the right which falls in with the rest of them or the left um, something stuff like that now as I said in the next video I will show how to format the actual numbers because you might want numbers you might want a date you might want um, dollars and cents or you might want dollars with no decimal points following after there's so many options alright so I look forward to seeing you in the next video